What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Perez Garage 704. Today we are working on Christian's 2012 Mustang GT, aka Reptar. And tell them what we're doing today. Um, today we are going to be doing spark plugs, um, as well as a oil change a little bit later. Alright, and we're going to show you guys how to do that yourselves. Alright guys, so the required tools we're going to need for this job is a adjustable crescent wrench. Um, we are also going to need a 12 millimeter socket to remove the strut tower brace, um, as well as a 5 ace uh, spark plug socket, and then a adjustable wrench, and preferably a torque wrench as well to make sure that those spark plugs are seated properly. Give it a second. All right, guys, now that we've got that positive terminal off, um, we're going to go ahead and take off the strut tower brace. Um, not all of the GTs were equipped with this, but um, if yours has a strut tower brace, you are going to have to remove this. So, yeah, just fits awesome, right? <laughs> just the, uh, back. just one, two, three, and four. All right. So now we're just going to lift that off. It's going to be best if you have a friend to help you, because it is kind of awkward how it's set on this. Okay. So next we're going to remove the engine cover right here. And it should just pry off that easy. Lastly, you're going to need to take these valve covers off. Um, and there are finger grooves at the bottom of these. Down back in here. You try to rotate it. Got it? Yeah, cool. It was underneath the whole time. Alright. Cool. Sweet. You might have better fingernails than I do. Oh, I got it though. So we're going to have to take the, um, what's that? I believe these are 8 millimeters that hold on all the coil packs. Yeah, they are 8 mil. So we'll go ahead and take those off. Okay, so I pulled up all the little red finger tabs. Trying to get these uh, wiring harnesses off. Might have to do this manual way on a few of these. Or I can get to it. All right, so now after you have all these stupid little wiring harnesses that are actually a pain to get out, all you have to do is carefully pull out all these little all these little coil on plugs. There'll be eight of them. Yeah, because we don't drive V6s around here. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so now that the coil packs are off um, and the coil boot, we are going to extract the old spark plugs. Um, right here, we have a snap on 5 ace um, spark plug socket. I'm losing yeah, my mind here. Spark plug socket. It's been a long day. Um, this one is long like this to prevent um, breaking any of the spark plugs that are seated in there. 
Um, you really can use any 5 uh spark plug adapter, or spark plug socket, I'm sorry, um, for this, but um, the longer ones are going to prevent the spark plugs from breaking. That's very true. So. I like to put the uh, socket and the extension down there and seat it on the spark plug without my wrench um, and then put the wrench on. Let me get this wrench on. Somebody torqued these real good from the factory. <laughs> Once you have it loosened up, you can take your wrench off and just thread it out by hand. Yeah, that thing's squeakier than your off of <laughs> Glad you're doing all the heavy lifting so I don't have to get my hands all dirty. See how those spark plugs look. Yeah, I think it was time. Yeah. They don't look too bad. There's no nothing abnormal. They are just a little worn, a little old, so that should uh, make it run a little bit smoother. Absolutely. All right, one down, seven to go. All right, guys, um, just some tips about spark plugs. So just smear a little bit of anti-seize on the threads. Just right up and down. You just want to put a little bit of a dot on there. That way, when you go to replace them next time, they'll be a lot easier to come out and they won't get stuck. And what I've got on my finger here is rather excessive, but it's okay. And just like kind of wipe it. All right, and that's good right there. All right, so same way they went out, we're going to just put them right back in. It's going to be super easy, so we're just going to time lapse it. doing now is he's taking the torque wrench and we're going to torque these to spec and what's the spec on this car the spec is 126 um, inch pounds um, which converts to 10 foot pounds um, but the manufacturer on the box says you can torque it to 7 foot pounds to 14.4 foot pounds which is a big variation so we're just going to stick to 10 foot pounds but mm -hmm. I actually torque this one to like 13. <laughs> yep. So for you guys at home that don't have a torque wrench, I would say you don't need to be super, um, super mindful of it getting exact, but once you get it tight until it's snug, just go a little bit farther. Make sure not to over tighten. Uh, don't really crank it down because that could uh, strip the threads and you'll run into some major issues. So next step is putting in the coil packs back in the car. We have a little bit of connector grease and we're just going to squirt a little bit, little bit in that hole right there. Just right there. That way it makes a good seal and also it makes a good contact so we don't have any misfires. Once you get the dielectric grease um, inside the boot, um, you are going to come over, place the boot back over the 
top is a spark plug. And it's a good idea once you can tell that it's on there to give it a wiggle just to spread the uh, dielectric grease. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and seat it. Perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and reconnect the tab. Cool. That's one. Alright guys, well that is a wrap. A lot easier than I was expecting as well. Tends to be the uh, pretty much the uh, theme that I'm seeing here. But got everything back together. Looks good. Um, all that's left to do is just start it up and make sure it runs good. But yeah, anything to say? No, no, I think it was all good. And we've got them all torqued up. We got the coil packs and the boots back on. Valve cover, engine cover, strut tower, and now we just gotta crank it. Make sure it cranks. Alright, you gotta scream it. That's a wrap. That's a wrap! That's a wrap! <laughs> Go for it.